time to wake up your neighbor. God bless you. Starring King Jesus. Over God, Holy Spirit of Spirits. Thank you. We worship you. This song is dedicated to your culture to give us good attributes, one of which is patient faith. Today, Conscious Culture Now is disclosing a universal problem all people struggle with. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. You should be passionate about understanding and defending your spiritual rights as a triune creation. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. You should be concerned about protecting your Protestant Christian values from pagan undermining. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. You should be serious about the mass media you allow into your community's ear and eye gates. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. Don't accept living in the result of Satan's army casting spells on our homes and communities. Break Satan down by supporting Conscious Culture Now and defend your American Christian heritage.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Did you meet the new neighbors? Hello. Did you meet the new neighbors? C cigarettes. <laughs> Did you meet the new neighbors? <laughs> Hermanos, que el Señor les bendiga en esta mañana hermosa. Gloria a Cristo, porque Él siempre nos bendice, Él siempre nos cuida y nos protege durante la noche y durante el día. Les bendigo en esta hora y le pido muchas ricas bendiciones para todo aquel que escucha esta palabra. El Señor viene pronto y tenemos que buscar a Dios porque el Señor está a las puertas. Good blessed day. How are you? We love you. And we say that consciously. Hi, kids. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My name is Pastor Carlos De Nova Villanueva. Many people call me De Nova or Pastor De Nova. Praise the Lord. Um, and this is our first show, our first episode. The topic is bad influences. And also for uh, this show, which is, happens to be called um, Current Scenarios today our our sort of micro topic today is going to be ufos ufos the devil's lie don't believe it and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna start with a definition and i gotta write it down i gotta write it down so um first we're going to tell you what the definition of current scenarios are and the definition of current scenarios are the organization excuse me the organized attribution of people, places, and things included in our reality. So the people and places and things that make up your reality. We're gonna dive 
right into this. And we're going to go into people, places, things with our micro topic being UFOs. So the people that we're using today, you might know them, is President Trump and President Obama. And we're going to use these two sound clips, these two video clips, Freedom of the Press, in order to bring you their opinion on UFOs. I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? Because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. Uh, I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to a guy. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit. Fire. So there you have your leaders, two prominent figures of history from here on out. I mean, you have Obama, you have Trump, you have these family men, hardworking center figures of the United States White House, the presidents, and they have two different approaches. So let's start with Obama. Obama on one hand, it's like we're boxing here. Yeah, yeah, Trump, Trump. But it's you have Obama on one hand, and he is a little bit more sympathetic to this sort of alien agenda. You know, um, he's leaving room, uh, almost like a romanticization with the potential for some kind of a, of an interaction with our species, the boneheads, and their species, the Soft heads, I don't know what they would be. And then you have Trump. And Trump is just like, I don't believe it. Let's move forward. So you have your right to go to hell or to go to heaven. You have your right to free speech. You have your right to believe whatever president you want. And later on in the show, I'm going to summarize this. So we're going to come back to it. But we're going to move forward, forward with the UFOs. And where we're going right now is... We're going to stick with an order because it's mental health. And what we're talking about now, again, is current scenarios today, current scenarios which lead to the conscious mentality thought process, the order in our mind. And we spoke about people. And the next portion of reality of a current scenario is a place. So there's no other place like Area 51. Come on. This place is a romanticization. You still got people out there with goggles and binoculars trying to say, look at that star, it's a UFO. So you still have people investing money and there's a whole breed of a marketable industry that's come out from this thing. You know, between the UFOs and Sasquatch, you got a billion dollar industry. You know, they're only outdone by porn. Who would have known? So, you know, you have this incredible uh, uh focus and amusement coming from this but what are the effects so we're going to get into that later on in the in my summarization on this and what i think about it but uh let's go right to a little part on area 51 and get a little bit of background noise so that uh we have something to talk about praise the lord a lot of Americans really want answers about what's going on at Nevada's Area 51, so much that more than 400,000 people have pledged to raid the area as part of a Facebook event titled Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us. The mission appears to be, quote, see them aliens, a reference to the fact that many believe Area 51 to be a secret alien holding site. Newsweek reports the event presents the idea of people around the globe invading the site on September 20th via a Naruto run, referencing a manga character who keeps his head down and his arm stretched behind him while running. Comicbook.com points out that the person who created the event is known for posting memes and streaming on Twitch, but it's unclear how serious the intent is to make a run at Area 51. Still, the Pentagon has recently shared plans to create guidelines allowing military to report sightings of UFOs. So there you have it. Area 51, a real place with some supposed dream state events that took place. And we're going to keep charging forward. We're going to parade for truth. We're going to walk forward through this thing together. Me and you, you and me. And what we're talking about now, praise the Lord. Well, what we're going to be talking about, hallelujah, is we're going to be talking about things. 
So we had people, places, things, right? This is our conscious oh, mentality, how to think about things so that we include the spiritual reality. Hello, if you don't know about that, you know nothing. You know nothing. If you believe it, you develop discernment. Discernment equals joy. Holy fire! So as we think about things, what are the things of this UFO, UFO allergy? You know, allergy, it's, when it's an allergy already. But what is this thing with this UFOs, these aliens, these Pleiades, uh, these Anunnaki, uh, these extraterrestrials, you know, ET, you know, what is it about this that gives us any moral framework? Why does it stick? Because there has to be some kind of a moral framework for us to, to swallow it, for it to stick to our belly. When mommy cooks, mm. I eat it all. And I'm like, wow, I'm never going to have fast food again. It tastes better. So there has to be some moral framework underneath for us to believe it. So what are the portions of this meal that are so significantly successful? And they are, in my mind, things that stick out are Operation uh, Paperclip, uh, uh, the, uh, the Blue Beam Project. And so uh, these are supposed governmental uh, spectators within our organization uh, that are uh, sort of provocatizing this potentiality. And then, of course, you know, there's going to be some black marker, Magnum 44 for all the, and I'm going to say no names, but, you know, they black out, you know, a lot of these, this information to romanticize it even more, to enchant us even more. Man, if I could just use that computer, that new software, I could peel. Aha, uh -huh, it's Theodore. I knew it. You know, so we begin to see, you know, that there is something here that's leaving a moral framework underneath where now, well, you know, I might have to believe it. So I might just have to buy one of those binoculars and support that billion dollar industry that competes with porn. I might have to do that. So let's just go into a little bit here and see the things part of conscious mentality. All along good. Is good. Operation Paperclip, author and journalist Annie Jacobson joins us now. Welcome to you. Thank you. So these were top scientists in the German war effort sought out by the U.S. military in, as the war was coming to an end. That's right. These were Hitler's top weapons makers, and Operation Paperclip became a classified military program to bring them to the United States. It also had a public face, so there was, on the one hand, the truth about the program kept secret, and on the other hand, the idea that we'll tell the, the public that these are the good Germans. People believe these investigations are more than cover-up attempts or fringe science. They think the world governments might be planning a supernatural event of their own. Here's where it gets crazy. In his 1994 book, Project Bluebeam, journalist Serge Manast writes that NASA and other government agencies have been working in secret since 1983 on something called Project Bluebeam. The purpose? To pave the way for a global government by fooling people into thinking it's the end of the world. That was the thing portion within this current scenario today. And now, a conscious summary. The truth is that Satan is hosting the people, places, and things which endure UFOs. It's similar to a fake religion, but with a different group of people, places, and things. The binding fact is the liar is the same, the father of all lies, Satan. Don't waste your time and money buying snake oil. Cherish your relationship with Jehovah God, your family, your Protestant church, and your career. Repent. Seek deliverance from Satan's spirits and get to personally know our mutual father, Jehovah God, his son, King Jesus, and the Holy Spirit of spirits. Amen. The power of influence is a power that we all... Bad influences. Black balloons represent moving forward in that lifestyle and I was being deterred by the Holy Spirit. You really want to take your life back? First repent. Now, ask Jesus to deliver the Spirit. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. How? 
by becoming a Race to 3000 contributor. Jesus told us to first build a family of 3000 brothers and sisters contributing just $1 per month. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. How? By wearing Ready and Able merchandise. Jesus told us to eliminate Cain from Abel, thus breaking the curse. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. How? By adding our song Romans 8 by DeNova to your playlist including Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Apple Music, YouTube Music, or your preferred music player. Jesus told us to produce creative music and movies based on His Word, the Holy Bible. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. How? Faith, Music and Movies is the production house for Conscious Culture Now. We are a Jacksonville, Florida based Holy Doctrine Christian Fundamental Ministry with our Conscious Mentality Deliverance concepts across three main spectrums. Taking back entertainment, taking back education, and taking back business thus taking back our family for the Lord Jesus Christ, but with discernment to create yet unprovoked established institutions, but rather allow Jehovah God's Holy Spirit to create a genre focused entirely on an anti-transgressatory spiritual stance. So how can I help? You can access our handy Tidely app from your smartphone or from any internet device. Text the word GIVE to 321-978-0510 or visit faith.org and click the Conscious Culture Now fundraiser link. There you will find information on our fundraiser campaign entitled The Race to 3000. <laughs> Simply click our green Give button and use our safe and convenient Tidely app to process your payment. Please check the recurring box in the Tidely app to confirm your Race to 3000 monthly contributor membership or simply add a one-time gift. Simply click store to access our growing Ready and Able merchandise product line brand. Click music, go to Romans 8 and click free, then enter your email to download our first song release of a brand new holy genre style God calls interpreting glorification.
stay conscious by connecting to our social sites on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, etc. Just click the favicon of your choice. Now is the time to wake up your neighbor. Tell them we are in a war of consciousness and this war will only end when souls are no longer being cast into hell. Faith, Music and Movies is a tiny Christian ministry with holy big ideas.